Hello, hello, hello. I am back with a Fear Street review. This one's different because it's a book. That's right. We've learned how to read on Fear Street. And we are here today to talk about The Black Guy Dies First by Dr. Robin R. Means Coleman and Mark H. Harris. Um, unlike most of our reviews on this channel, there's not going to be that many spoilers because if you're listening to our podcast or these reviews, you already know that the black guy normally does die first. <laughs> um, and so like while they're giving us lots of information and lots of like jokes and graphs, like it's it's kind of a standard thing. If you see if you see us in a horror movie, it's probably gonna end badly for us. Um, so off the bat, you already know you need to buy this book, right? Like Dr. Coleman gave us Horror Noir, which became the documentary, which became the film, which was an anthology based on the documentary. Um, lots of cool names, lots of like really cool stories, lots of history. So you already know you want this book. I'm going to just go ahead and double down on why. <laughs> um, like it's, it's funny and it's healing for me as a black horror fan, because a lot of us recognize these tropes and stereotypes and it's kind of nice to see like all the research that goes into where they started and like where they came from um and also to see just how large the numbers are for these problems and issues because we always say most movies are all movies or you know she was gonna get it because she was the black girl but to like really see the data <laughs> and to see the numbers which is something that i was never gonna do as a homeschool girl who can't do numbers um it's it's healing and it's also validating because again like a lot of us have noticed this like most of our friends who are podcasters and are black and i are having these conversations in our group texts our dms like on each other's shows and so it's just sort of nice to be like somebody out there with the vocabulary and like the research has also felt the same way and has also put it to paper yet again. So yeah, you wanna buy this, you wanna buy this now, like stop what you're doing, hit pause on me, hit stop on me, open another window, another device, I don't know, I don't care. Buy this book because it's out and about. Um, it's Black History Month and it's a damn good reading. And as usual, like for Horror Noir, for instance, we're getting titles that we probably were already like ready to judge because unfortunately criticism is not something that we get to do a lot of and so Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb and them are always pissing on the black movies and so <laughs> you can you can change that you can be the change you want to see you can like buy this book check out Horror Noir and also just follow Dr. Coleman because literally she knows her stuff better than most of us and be a better horror fan, be a better horror advocate. Um, and also you'll have like these touch points and these references for your arguments that I plan on using in my arguments moving forward. Expect me to start quoting whole pages on Fear Street and maybe Bloody Massacre. That's all I know. It's a yay for me, obviously. Like how wouldn't it be a yay? I don't understand a world in which it's not a yay. I mean, I guess there are haters out there for everybody, but like, it's a good book and it does what it said it's gonna do. And it does it in a way that's engaging and fun. My wig is in my mouth. Sorry, you had to watch that. We're all struggling here in 2023. Um, <laughs> thank you to our friends at Saga Press and Simon and Schuster. Schuster. Um, without, we would not have a copy of this book for me to read and gush about and take to everybody's get togethers and make them read it and make them buy it. Um, cause we're an independent podcast. So we only can review what we're given. Um, so thank you for giving us this gift, which is something that was on my list of things to buy myself. I love when that happens. That never happens. So please have, make it happen again. If you are a follower of Fear Street and you just watched this book review and you're like, whoa, I want to see this woman in the wig talk about more books. Let us know that as well, because maybe we'll get into more books. We did say we cover horror everything and we've been very centered on movies and shows. So now that I can read, why not? Let's do it, let's go. If you don't want any more book reviews, say that as well, because like reading is fundamental and it takes some time. Don't make us give you content you don't care about, but you should care about this one. And then stop caring about things. But the black guy does first, buy it, order it, do whatever you gotta do to get it um, legally, give them money because you need to support Black content creators, especially Black authors. Yes. That's all I got. Bye.